Am I the asshole for calling out my mom about her gift-giving methods when I was a kid? We had our usual immediate family gathering for the gift opening and the kids enjoyed. My mom was recounting how she would always give me what I wanted but she only stopped after I was grown and she changed religions. I did a double take and said, you showed me what you'd gotten me but I never actually got it. She argued she gave me what I wanted and had pictures to prove. Now my mom had a habit of buying me what I wanted for Christmas, allowing me to take the wrapping off, take pictures of me with the gifts but take the actual present from me and putting it away saying, I got you this but you're on punishment so you can't have it now. Then I would never see it again. I'd ask for it months later and she again would say I'm on punishment for whatever and couldn't have it. She would keep these items and present them to me as an adult when she was cleaning out closets. It was a mean method and still upsets me when she gives me the items. I told her this. She denied it. My family was appalled. My mom then tried to backtrack and say she took them because I always broke it. I say how can I break it if I never got them and you're giving me the pristine items as an adult. She didn't have an answer so I let it go and we carried on. Later, she approached me and said I embarrassed her in front of the family and it was unfair. I apologized but I didn't think it was fair to act like she'd always given me what I wanted when she didn't. She's still quite upset with me. Am I the asshole for calling her out? Edit. I see a few asking why I'm still in contact with her. Honestly because I'm a softie and she's my mom. There was a couple of years I did go NC and it was hard but I used that time to find my footing emotionally. During that time I met my hubby and his family and friends. That experience opened my eyes to how a healthy family functions. It was. Magical for lack of a better term. They all accepted me with love and open arms. Once I had a real foundation to build on, we started our family. I'm LC with my mom now but I didn't want to deny her her grandkids. We've discussed a lot of the things done over my childhood and I've gotten similar responses from her. It hurt and sucked but I feel I got what I needed off my chest and instead of holding a grudge for something I can't change, just move forward within my own set boundaries. We have hiccups but all in all, I'm okay. Not great, but okay. Thank you everyone for your kind words and advice. I really appreciate it. Green heart. Edit 2. For those concerned about my kids. I have set boundaries with her about my kids. If there's an inkling of any treatment she gave me, she's cut. She knows this and has not tested it. I also don't leave her alone with them. I don't play about my babies. Why on earth did you apologize for telling the truth? Not the asshole. I'd retract the apology. So your mom would buy you a gift, take pictures of you unwrapping it, then took it away for some bullshit reason, probably to return it and get her money back. Yeah, that's going to catch up with you one day. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. If it had truly been a punishment she wouldn't have been embarrassed. It also shows she knew it was wrong but did it anyway. So fuck her. Let her be embarrassed. That's emotional abuse from your mom. Both the gift shit as a parent and now. You probably could have brought it up in a way that wouldn't cause her to get defensive, but could and should are two different things. I'm really sorry you had to deal with that BS. Not the asshole. And also like, what the fuck? Dude your mother has some issues. Not the asshole. Your mom was abusive. You didn't even complain about that until she wanted to be seen as a good parent. She deserved every ounce of embarrassment she got. You didn't have to apologize really. If she was that abusive with gifts I'm concerned about how she otherwise treated you. You're not the asshole, she is. Not the asshole. My dad used to do the same thing but for the smallest things. Didn't eat my vegetables? Say goodbye to your presence. Five minutes late for curfew? I had to quit orchestra. No one ever likes to be reminded that they didn't handle things well as a parent but guess what, it's the truth. Not the asshole. What your mum did was cruel and she deserved to be called out for it. I'm just upset that you apologized at all. Did she ever apologize for her actions? Am I the asshole for refusing to host Christmas and ruining my husband's dream? So my husband, 31M, has always loved Christmas and everything even remotely related to it, while I don't really care, 31F. Since my family is not Christian nor do they live in this country, we usually end up spending the holidays with his family. He has always lived in a large household and everyone there shares the same enthusiasm for Christmas he has which always makes it fun. The problem is that now my husband said that he wants us to host Christmas at our house the next year and I was like okay sure, until he clarified he meant that I gad to host it prepare the dinner and do all the grunt work. Now I have no idea what goes into Christmas. 
My family is from a different religion and my childhood only consists of me and my dad so holidays have never been a huge deal for me. I don't know how to do all the stuff required. He had already told them we'd be hosting Christmas and I got mad and said how can you say that without even asking. So I told him clearly that it's not my responsibility to host Christmas for your family since I don't really care one way or another but now he is accusing me of ruining his lifelong wish and he ended up telling his mother about it so no my mill and SILs are blowing up my phone by saying why am I being such a Grinch. He has been sulking ever since we came back last night. I'm firm on my stance but I am still wondering since it's just a one-time thing I should just suck it up. Not the asshole. Why can't he do the work? What are you, his employee? Not the asshole. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew the moment I read the title that you were going to be doing all the work. If he wants to host, he can fucking cook, set up the damn table, clean and all that with you. Not the asshole. If you refused then though he was doing all the work, then sure. But volunteering you for a stressful job without asking or helping isn't cool. He can step up if he wants this dream so bad. Not the asshole he doesn't want to host Christmas, he wants you to host Christmas. Tell him you're happy to host a potluck Christmas, and he is welcome to share equally, or more, in the responsibility of hosting. But if he wants you to do all the work? No thanks. I suppose a lot of my anger on being expected to do this task is that he has never made an effort to assimilate in my culture and therefore I feel like asking me to do the same is unfair of him. Not the asshole, but would you be open to hosting if he planned, organized, and ideally, helped turn it into a potluck to help lessen the load? Not the asshole I'd tell him you'll help him host, but for him to volunteer you to do all the work? I don't think so. You need to show him and his family this thread. And when your child, er husband, is finished sulking, he can be an adult and agree to do most of the work, or all, since he's the one that wants to host. What an awe. Not the asshole. If he wants to host chairmans then he gets to do all the work. It's a lot. You deep clean the house. Plan all the gifts and snacks and appetizers and meals and desserts and decor and table settings. He has no idea how much work it entails. Dot. Nope. If this is what he wants then he gets to do the heavy lifting. Am I the asshole for ditching my friend at a ski resort? This needs quite a bit of context. First of all, I'm an amputee, I don't have left leg below the knee and I haven't since I was 16, I'm 25 now. I won't bore you with the details why. But just know that I've fully accepted myself and my body and I maintain a positive attitude. One thing I've always wanted to do but never got the chance is learn how to snowboard. This winter, my twin brother volunteered to teach me he learned it in his teens but I couldn't because, well, I was learning how to walk again in the meantime. We've been talking about it for a while and finally decided to do it. We live within a day trip's distance of some resorts, and last weekend we agreed to drive up to give it a go. At the last minute, he asked if he can also bring his new girlfriend, of one month, who's allegedly a pro. I was cool with it and drove them both up. I got really negative vibes from her right away. She was rude and dismissive, despite the fact that I was their ride. Then, on the hill, as he was teaching me the basics on the bunny hill, she kept rolling her eyes and complaining how she wanted to go to the black diamonds. He told her go ahead, but he wasn't going to leave me. She just kept scoffing and complained she's be bored alone. Snowboarding is hard to learn for anyone, but especially for someone with a prosthetic leg. I was having a very hard time with it, and it felt humiliating, even though my bro was very patient. After landing on my ass yet again and bruising my tailbone, I started tearing up and said I wanted to take a break. My bro was tired but patient and he suggested getting some hot chocolate and then calling it a day. Then his girlfriend let out, so we don't even get any time on the mountain? You didn't tell me she's a fucking cripple. That really really upset me. Especially that he didn't say anything and instead apologized to his girlfriend. So I stormed off crying and drove away. I didn't calm down for a while. I've never felt so useless and insulted. He had to call his buddy for a ride home. Now he demands I apologize to him and his GF. Am I the asshole? Edit. I honestly don't know why I put friend in the title when I meant to put brother. My brain glitched lol. Oh major not the asshole. And I was so happy about your brother's treatment until he let that asshole girlfriend say those things then. Apologize to her? Nope nope. I'd not speak to him until he apologized and I'd speak to her pretty much never fucking again. Not the asshole. Wait. What? You are supposed to apologize to him and his girlfriend after what she said? WTH? I mean, I gasped when I read that. 
Your brother was doing really well until the end and then he turned into a total A it goes without saying what an A she is. Don't, you dare apologize. I swear, I would go and see with both of them. I am so totally pissed right now. I am giving you a virtual hug. You deserve to be treated significant other much better. Not the asshole and your brother needs to take some stock here. Does he really want to tie himself to someone who's obviously self-absorbed, selfish as hell, inconsiderate, and happy to call his sister with a prosthesis a cripple? Not the asshole. Also, check out. They train amputees to snowboard. Sometimes, you need people that, get it, to learn from. Also, is a former marine and amputee, non-service related. She is a snowboarder, athlete and all-round great person. Not the asshole. How dare your brother. How dare his girlfriend. How dare both of them together. You're a FC King amputee for crying out loud, and a beginner. She needs to kick rocks. Both of them do. Don't give them an ounce of an apology. They don't deserve it. Don't even talk to them anymore. Not the asshole at all. Op. I am so sorry that your brother's girlfriend made these horrible comments. The fact that he didn't defend you from her shows his true colors. The next time to see and speak to your brother, tell him clearly that his girlfriend's behavior was completely unacceptable. If he still demands an apology and continues to keep defending her, tell him that you will no longer talk or hang out with him. Not the asshole at all I teach kids how to snowboard is my job and even some of those kids don't get on the chairlift after three sessions. I can't even imagine how much more difficult it would be with one leg gone. The attitude of the girlfriend is just what makes learning how to snowboard a terrible experience for some people whose instructors maintain that same attitude. I would try to talk to your brother about how his girlfriend's behavior is really toxic and not okay. Not the asshole. His girlfriend was very cruel to you. Hugs. To you. Am I the asshole for siding with my parents when they told my sister and her fiancé to sleep separately? I'm 19 female and I live with my parents 52 female and 54 male. I have an older sister 25 female who's engaged to her boyfriend of 6 years 26 male. Her fiancé and her have been living together for 3 years. They got engaged this year. My sister also announced to us a while ago that they're expecting a baby. In our house there's a strict rule about unmarried couples not sleeping together and my sister knows that. She's left the house for three years since she moved in with her fiancé and she started visiting us for holidays. They live in a different area two hours away. For the past three years the rule was that they'll sleep in different rooms since they're not official. My sister was never fond of this rule and always tried to have it her way. But she didn't. This year she threw a fit because my parents wouldn't let her sleep on the same bed as her fiancé despite them two living together for so many years and despite being engaged and expecting. They got in a huge fight on Xmas Eve and I sided with my parents saying that it's their house and their rules and if she doesn't like it she can just never visit again but she has to respect the hosts and most importantly the people who raised her. She called me a nasshole and said that I'm still too young to understand why what my parents are doing is disrespectful to her and her fiancé. I don't think I'm the asshole because no matter how absurd a rule sounds. If you visit someone's house you do as they say. Period. But for the sake of collecting some unbiased opinions, am I the asshole for siding with my parents when my sister threw a fit about how it's disrespectful that they won't let her sleep on the same bed with her fiancé? Question mark. You are the asshole. You told her she can either follow their rules or, never visit again, which is very weird. She's pregnant, engaged, and clearly sleeps next to this man regularly. They traveled two hours to sleep at someone else's home because of the holiday and they're being forced to sleep separately because, why? What are your parents afraid of? Be careful. One day your parents will no longer be around to host things like this. Don't make an enemy of your sister. You are the asshole. A baby is more binding and official than any piece of paper declaring a marriage. What your parents are doing is incredibly disrespectful and you shouldn't have inserted yourself into the situation. You are the asshole. Keep your nose out. Did you enjoy creating a bigger issue? This is such a daft rule for parents to have. All it does is make their children not want to visit because they are being judged for something perfectly acceptable. Edit typo. You are the asshole and your parents are also aw. How are they not official? You think getting married actually changes anything? They've been together for six years living together for three years, and are expecting a baby. Will the baby not be official if it's born before they get married? Will your parents think it doesn't have a father because they're not official? Mindworms. You should have had your sister's back. Doesn't matter if your parents have this rule. 
It's dumb, and controlling and infantilizing. When you're talking about a long-term relationship between actual adults. Do you follow every single rule? Will be interesting to see what happens when you are in a long-term relationship but not allowed to sleep in the same room as your partner. You are the asshole. Especially for being such a little brown noser you told your engaged and pregnant sister to never visit again. Edit. Holy crap thanks for the silver. You are the asshole in a couple of ways, but you already knew that or you wouldn't be here asking. 1. Not your fight whatsoever. Keep your nose out of others' business. 2. They're not official, how official do you want? They're living together for years, engaged and pregnant. Your parents are ridiculous morons who will be the one saying, why can't we see our grandchild? When your sister writes you all off. You are the asshole. I'm just wondering if you're going to keep the same energy when the roles are reversed. You are the asshole. It's tough but I've dated women with parents like yours and the situation was always made worse when we didn't even have her siblings support. It's a stupid arsed rule to say you can't sleep in the same room until you're married, they're engaged and expecting a baby FFS. Your parents don't realize but all this will do is stop them wanting to come over.